How's it going guys? I am so excited about all the Christmas preparations that are going on right now. I love this time of year. In our five for fives this week, we're talking about incarnational ministry. Now, Jason and Brooks have both unpacked that a little bit on Monday and Tuesday. So I encourage you guys to go back and watch their videos if you missed them. But today I wanted to take a second and kind of answer a question that I have sometimes when it comes to living out the example of Jesus to those around me. And the best part is uh, the reading plan that I'm doing with some of our students, some of our guys, asks this very same question in our readings this week. Why would God want to use me? Right? There are so many other people more qualified, more eloquent, with more of a platform. Why in the world would he want to use just me? If you've ever felt unqualified or insignificant or overlooked, man, the Christmas story has some great news for you. And for me, God could have chosen anyone to be the mother of Jesus, but he chose Mary. She was young, she was from a small town, no political power, very little influence over others. And she was pretty ordinary, but God had extraordinary plans for her. The Christmas story rejects the idea that you need wealth, influence, or a platform to make a difference. Guys, ordinary, insignificant people matter to God and have a part to play in his plan. You might have a neighbor or a coworker that is lost, and while it might be easier to bring them into church for a pastor to tell them or a small group leader to tell them about Jesus or send them a YouTube video of a famous pastor, guys, in reality, how you live and how you speak about Jesus is what really matters and makes an impact in their life. The reason our words hold so much weight is that we are already invested in their life, right? We see them all the time, we support them as friends or coworkers, and we live out our faith in a way that they see regularly. That day after day buy-in is so much more powerful than a smooth talk or a fancy video production. Incarnational ministry is living out the gospel exactly where God has placed us, using the gifts and the talents that he has provided in us. Just like Jesus came down to earth and took on flesh to show us the way, we have to show the lost the way we have found in Jesus each and every day. So to answer the question, why would God want to use me? First, because he loves you and the lost friends. Secondly, because he has uniquely equipped you to minister to people that need to hear about Jesus. Guys, I want to close with Mary's own words in Luke 146, where she responds to the huge calling in her life. And she, she says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. Guys, don't sit back timid because of your own doubts. Be bold, be confident in God's design of your personality and your provision, right? He has great things in store for a surrendered life. Have a great week, guys. Be bold for him, and we will see you all real soon.